This is a video about Photoshop Elements 10 and removing the background of an image using the magic wand tool. I'm going to start here with uh, an outboard motor image, just uh, simply standard downloaded from the internet. This is the uh, easiest type of background to remove because of the fact that um, it's very uniform. So we're going to use the um, magic wand tool. And one important thing here is since the background is so uniform, we're going to go to a very low tolerance of 5 on this. Uh, a lot of times um, we use a uh, much greater tolerance because of the unevenness in the background. Now we're going to um, use our panel bin and select this layer. Then we'll go and um, use the magic wand tool here and you can see that it is selected uh, almost all of the background. And it's a few places. Uh, we'll zoom in here and control plus. A few places we might have missed. Now we want to check and make sure that we're set for uh, add to selection. So that whatever we uh, select here will add to the other stuff that's selected. And it's part right here. Uh, there's another one here. Another one here. And that looks pretty good. You control zero. So we go back to the uh, full image on the screen. And I'm going to go into the selected area, right click, and I'm going to layer with cut. And then I'm going to turn off the visibility on the layer that I just cut. Now you can see that we have the, uh, this image with all of the uh, background removed. So that's um, pretty easy. Now I'm going to uh, save this file. And I'm going to save it as a PNG so that I can use it uh, in other programs. The PNG is uh, capable of holding um, transparency information. And again, none on the interlace. Now we save that. Now I'm going to also um, do uh, something else with this image, combine it with another one. And um, the uh, one that I'm going to combine it with is this underwater image. Hitting control zero. And now um, I'm going to take a look at this and get the information. And this is at 72 uh, pixels per inch. And I'm going to take, go back to the uh, Outboard motor, and take a look at this one. And this one is at uh, 72 pixels per inch, also. And this is uh, about 7 inches by 12. So resize the image 4 inches high. So this will be a little sharper than what I'm dropping it into. So I'm going to take that up to 212. Hit control zero. Go over here. And it looks like I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to just change the resolution of that image so that this all fits together well. And here I'm just going to go to 412. And then control zero. So now um, back at the outboard motor, I'm going to uh, 
change the color of this a little bit because of the fact that we're putting it underwater. And what I'm going to do here is go to filter. So I'm going to select. I'm going to select the layer. I'm going to go to filter and adjustments, photo filter. And here I'm going to select a underwater filter. But uh, I think I'd like to be just a little bluer than that. And then my density, uh, I'm going to take that up. My density, I'm going to take up to about 75%. And it looks uh, about right. Now I'm going to uh, show my project bin. And my newer scene back here. And I'm just going to drop this into that. Just like that. And going to control zero. I'm just going to lower that a little bit. And it's um, just an interesting uh, place to put the upward motor. However, there's uh, other things you can do with this. So I'm uh, going to go back to the outboard motor. And I'm going to save this file with the changes that I've made to it. And uh, now I'm going to bring up another program that I might use for uh, document preparation. And this will be uh, Visio 2010. Here I'm going to uh, make a new blank drawing. And I am going to insert a picture. And there it is. Make that a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to dress this up a bit. Bring in this background. Bring in this border. background, the text, what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to go back to that um, design, and uh, pick a theme for this. And this is something we could do in terms of presentation uh, using that image. So I'm going to return to uh, Photoshop Elements. And for further information, go to DocInfrastructure.com.